World records are made so that someone else can break them, but this one's going to give every cyclist out there quite a tough time if they're thinking of breaking it. Italian cyclist Filippo Ganna's latest UCI hour record of 56.792 kilometers has the entire cycling world in shock. Nobody saw it coming, but Ghana came and proved them wrong. In today's video, that's all we're going to talk about. First up, Filippo Ghana's latest cycling record has our jaws on the floor. The world championships are the best time to set new records, and from the looks of it, Filippo Ghana had come to the event with one goal in mind mind to blow the previous record for the event of individual pursuit to absolute pieces with a smashing new record. Yeah, we know new records are set every day, but they're never done at such an incredible margin. That's what has got us appreciating Ghana's achievement even more. He finished the 4,000 meters long individual pursuit in a record-breaking time of 3 minutes, 59.636 seconds. Technically, that's pretty close to the 4-minute mark, but the thing is, no one else has managed to complete it in under 4 minutes before. Ghana changed that with this new time. It's definitely going to have all the other cyclists cycling even harder to get that time beat. No cyclist has ever completed the event at sea level in under four minutes, so it's no wonder everyone's celebrating the Italians win with such incredible enthusiasm. Up next, the Italian cyclist broke a lot of past records. Okay, now that we're done swooning over the 26-year-old's latest record, let's talk a bit about all the previous records he's smashed in this event. The thing is that we saw Dan Bingham, the British cyclist, set a recent record for individual pursuit back in August, and it was in this same exact spot. Bingham had managed to to go 55.548 kilometers, and just two months later, Ghana came along and took away the Britain spotlight. But that's not the only interesting record to discuss here, folks. If you don't remember, back in 1996, Chris Boardman had set the record of 56.375 kilometers for the same category. But then, Chris managed that record in the Superman position, a position that's now banned because of the dangers it posed for cyclists. Now, if you focus on the numbers, you'll see how Ghana beat both Bigham and Boardman's records in a single day. And the wonderful thing is, no one's been able to beat Boardman's record in a total of 26 years. You now understand why everyone is so shocked over what Ghana did. Not only did he beat a very recent record, but he also managed to smash a pretty old one too without using the Superman position. Let's take a look at what Ghana himself has to say about such a spectacular achievement. Of course, we can't forget what the Italian cyclist himself feels about such a brilliant accomplishment. In classic Ghana fashion, the 26-year-old expressed a lot of humility with his latest achievement. He talked about how it's absolutely superb that he was able to come this far, but it would never have been possible without the hard work of his entire team. Before the race started, Ghana admitted his goal was to try to beat the record by just one meter. That would have been a really low margin. But then the Italian changed his mind, and he decided he wanted to see what he could do if he pushed himself a bit more. And we all saw what that did. A new record on our hands, one that would be pretty hard to defeat. Once more, here are the 26-year-old's goals for the future. Now, with a new record under his belt, we're sure the Italian has some grand plans for the future. Once you've tasted such a sweet victory, it makes you want more. Right now, a lot of people are worried if they'll ever try to beat Ghana's record, but you would be pretty shocked to learn that Ghana himself is thinking of breaking his own record. The 26-year-old cyclist has been wondering what would happen if he went just a bit faster. And from what we've heard, he's definitely going to give it a try. Well, in that case, we wish Ghana all the luck, because that would truly be an achievement of a lifetime if he ever manages it. Coming up, did Ghana have a strategy before going in to beat the records? Even in cycling, there's a lot to consider. It's never as simple as it looks, and it's pretty obvious Ghana must have practiced a lot to beat the old records. Even though Ghana beat Bigham's record, that's the man who played a huge role in helping Ghana have his win. Apart from being a cyclist, Bigham's also an aerodynamic specialist and race engineer, and he helped the Italian cyclist with his pacing strategy. In fact, both Bigham and Ghana spent a lot of time together before the event in order to prepare for it as thoroughly as possible. Ghana adopted a very different strategy in how he started the race slowly. Compared to Bigham's records from August, the Italian was pretty slow in the beginning, but that was deliberate. Because because by the time Ghana reached the 15-kilometer mark, he had started to speed up, and that gave his confidence a huge boost as well. Basically, you can say Ghana used the slow and steady principle to win this race. We really suggest taking a look at the video of him racing. It's pretty elegant. Next, with a new record made, can we expect anyone else to break it? So the entire cycling world's trying to take in the news of Filippo Ghana's groundbreaking record, and as things go, it's got a lot of us questioning if there's anyone with enough courage out there to try to break it. Well, there are plenty of contenders out there, but seeing how it took 26 years to break Boardman's mark, it's highly plausible it might be a pretty long time before we see someone break Ghana's record. Now here's what Alex Dowsett has to say about Ghana's UCI hour record. With that in mind, we think it's best to see what the experts have to say about this. We can just speculate because we're no analysts, so we'll offer you an expert's insight on the whole matter. Alex Dowsett, who used to be a UCI hour record holder once upon a time in 2015, believes that none of the current cyclists is capable of beating Ghana's record. Yeah, we know how harsh that sounds, but 
but Alex has never been one to sugarcoat his words. Talking to Velo News, Dowsett admitted that he was in a great state of shock on hearing that Ghana broke Boardman's record. He talked about how he knew the Italian cyclist was an incredibly capable sportsman, but he never once imagined that the 26-year-old athlete would beat Boardman's record. Truly, no one saw it coming. A lot of cyclists are often mistaken that speed is what helps you make records, but that's where they're wrong. As we mentioned earlier, speed isn't what Ghana focused on in the beginning. Instead, he started speeding up later on. Dowsett also claimed that he thought Ghana's build would be an obstacle in helping him achieve such a huge record, but he was glad to be proven wrong. Following up, why it seems difficult no one else can beat the Italian's achievement. We talked about how it's going to be hard for other rides to beat Ghana's achievement, and there's a good enough reason for it. Once again, Dowsett was pretty blunt about it when he said that no one will be able to beat this new record. He added that it had something to do with following the old track's craft, and right now, he's having a hard time thinking if anyone's really capable of breaking it. Looks like Ghana's record is for the books. In fact, we're kind of cheering for him to beat it himself. Now, for how it's not entirely possible to defeat this record. Still, if it seems like no one's going to beat Ghana's smashing record, we can look at cyclists who can be possible contenders for trying to defeat the record. The fact is, everyone knows how Ghana did it. If someone worked hard at it, they might even beat it with another record-breaking time. But that's mere speculation. Let's look at the facts. The two people who can beat Ghana include Remco Evenpole and Ethan Hader. Douse had mentioned both names, but he also said that Remco needs to increase his track experience. If he does that, he just might be able to defeat Ghana's latest record. For Hader, Dowsett suggested that if he improved his time trial, who knows how many records he might break. Finally, why Ghana's latest world record is an incredible thing. Ghana himself has talked about how it's been an absolutely amazing week for him. This was truly quite a special thing, and it's made even more special because this was something the Italian cyclist had been dreaming to accomplish for the longest time, and now he's done it. What's more, he's beaten two records in one day. That too with such an incredible margin. That's not all. He's left the entire cycling world scratching their heads, trying to wonder who will be the next cyclist to defeat his record. And no one's got a certain answer. That's a wrap for this video. Were you blown away by Ghana's latest world record? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one!